Hello, and welcome to this Mental Ray and Maya Tips and Tricks training presented by Digital Tutors. My name is Kyle, and I'll be your instructor for the next couple of hours, showing you some rendering tips and some little known features of Maya that'll make it much easier to get high quality results from Mental Ray. So, whether you're going to be rendering for product design, or advertising, or feature films, time is always a precious commodity and Maya has several tools and features that can make the process of setting up your lighting and outputting your final renders proceed much faster. So throughout the course of this training kit we're going to be exploring such features as storing and reusing photon and final gather maps. We'll take a look at some diagnostic modes to optimize mental rays rendering speed. We'll start to explore the process of rendering your scenes in multiple passes in order to give you maximum control over the final render and we'll look at how you can tr save yourself a tremendous amount of rendering time when incorporating such effects as depth of field and motion blur into your final rendered shots. So by the time you complete this kit, you'll have a multitude of techniques at your disposal in order to make your renders proceed much faster and with a much higher level of control. So keep in mind though that this training is going to be intended for more experienced Metal Ray users who are already familiar with many of Metal Ray's features and are now looking for ways to make their renders proceed in a faster, more efficient manner. Right, so with that said, let's start to move on with our next lesson in which we'll start to explore the process of reusing the Photon and the Final Gather maps.